Hey guys, so I finally got my first card to level 15 and okay wow my opponent just goes princess at the bridge the first place really annoying and can't even let me comment it and yeah as you guys know level upgrading your cards to level 15 it's really difficult and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys who are free to play mo most likely won't even have a max level 15 the deck with all level 15 cards but at least it's my first level 15 like look at my level 15 x band hopefully it can put on some work and okay wow uh, <laughs> my the inferno tower will still share it doesn't matter level 15 or whatever level and yeah i probably uh you guys might say that leveling up my expo wasn't the best choice because i agree expo isn't really in the best condition right now and honestly i could have probably upgraded something like my archers or skeleton sorry archers or knight or firewall to level 15 but well as you can see my logo on youtube is expo and i always mean some kind of expo deck because i really love the archetype of expo that's punishing your opponent whenever they go misplay and wow i was see guys i was ready to catch that princess with my tesla but i still couldn't i'm just and yeah, I completely forgot he has an Inferno Tower for my Expo, but hey, my Expo still has half an HP, so let's see how much damage this level 15 Expo can do. And okay, the put has to put down this Karmi and Zap. Okay, so he definitely did overcome it there. And yeah, as I was talking about, uh, I really like playing Expo, so I mean, that's why I just upgraded my Expo to level 15. And let's see how good it is. I don't really feel Expo is coming to the meta anytime soon like even with the introduction of the evo archers which are which are coming out next season i guess it's tomorrow only when i will be uploading this video or it might already be out uh, let's see and okay evo skeletons okay i hope the evo skeletons would be able to do something but yeah like his inferno tower is really pissing me off it's just shutting down my expos and hmm, yeah there's the princess i of course this skillful opponent of mine just spamming princess on the bridge and me being a stupid person can't even react quick enough and okay e bikes and knight log to kill okay and i think this should be well defended yeah this is well defended and i'm just going to go expo opposite lane and skeletons to predict his inferno tower okay yeah there's inferno tower ice spirit also and Archers to hopefully DPS down this Valk and okay, I think my Expo is still going to die but I think we can uh, Expo on the right hand side now and yeah he goes for the princess and okay um, his minor okay he played a goblin gang into my uh, evo skeleton that was a really big misplay from him and uh, yeah log of his entire skarmy and those two spell goblins and yeah yeah there's the zap and it was definitely overcome okay and he played a minor on my like 2 hp expo which is definitely uh, not good for him so i can now set up with a defensive expo as i feel i'm already in a good damage advantage and especially this guy does not really have a big spell in his deck i think and defensive expo is def definitely going to help me out with his uh, princess on the bridge and let me just see if i can save my tesla and i'm definitely going to go exo okay exo on the left just to be a, uh, just to be unpredictable and yeah there is his eye tower but why did he place his eye tower so behind I oh wait my knight is getting some decent hits on the right hand side and yeah i think i just have to uh, uh, yeah i think fireball does enough damage but let's just make him spend some more on this and yeah cycle back to a fireball and that's going to be it ggs to this guy i mean he did play quite annoying with his princesses but we managed to win okay we have the next match against this guy and okay he is giving us okay the princess at the bridge again and guys you guys already know how annoyed i am with this one particular play that log weight players love to make it's just princess at the bridge and okay this doesn't look like a traditional log bait deck because he, he has a mini pack and okay and i'm just going to go expo on the right let's see what else he has and i spare it with it okay hunter and uh, i'm just going to go archers low to clean all of this up because i don't think so my expo was going to get any damage there that exo was essentially just to check what that guy has in his deck and i'm again going to keep my tesla ready but 
Oh my god, I still did not place it quick enough. Okay, but I think that barrel is deep and yeah, at least we get a good log on the barrel. If I had if I would have missed the log on the barrel, I would simply just quit my game because yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, there's the high tower, but he placed it right into my Tesla. I don't think that's a good decision. And yeah, my Xbox locks on. Okay, he has to go for the firewall, but I don't know why he did not firewall my tower and my Xbox. But my Xbox still gets so much of damage. And yeah, I guess leveling up Xbox to level 15 probably what a decent decision because. Xbo even when it has like half HP or even less than half HP it just gets a lot of damage and okay let's see if he plays it down his princess again otherwise I'm just going to pre-place my Tesla once I'm at 10 okay okay I just go knight at the back I don't want to place pre-place my Tesla just like that and give him some value let's see okay I'm just going to go Xbo on the right to see what does he do and Okay, he lets my Xbox lock on. I think this guy has given up. Oh, thank God. I'll just cut this game. Okay, it's pretty weird. I could not find a match. So I had to shift to Path of Legends. I'm currently in League 7. And let's see, what does this guy have? I don't really like my starting hand. So I'm just going to go Knight at the back. And okay, he goes Lumberjack. And yeah, this is why I did not like my starting hand because I placed my knight at the back and he easily could just bum rush me the opposite lane. And okay, this guy looks like he's playing a Lumberloon deck with Musky and yeah, there's the evil firecracker. And hopefully knight gets his win. Nice. I got some decent damage to start off, about 500-ish. Okay, wait, he has a giant skelly. Okay, this... Is ungoblin level, yeah, it's definitely not Lumberloon now. The firecracker does get a shot, but it's hopefully dead. And the giant skelly is look looks like it's going to be defended, so I'm just going to go pressure with Xbo opposite and Ice Spirit for the goblin gang. Skeletons to predict something else, and let's see what does he places down. And okay, my Xbo locks on. His lumberjack was late. So I'm just going to go knight, and yeah, he went quite aggressive in the other lane with his giant skeleton the firecracker and goblin barrel so i countered it pretty cheaply and punished him with the xbow that's what i really love to do guys uh, any one of you who really play xbow any kind of xbow deck need to realize when your when your opponent makes some mistake mistake of some sort and okay i'm just going to tesla like this to hopefully activate my king tower and yeah archers like this to bring his uh, giant skeleton back so that the bomb doesn't splashes and log off his goblin gang okay this guy is uh, playing a very mid ladder deck as you guys can see so i hopefully shouldn't be having much problems from now on i just have to make sure that i don't let his giant skeleton connect to giant skeleton bomb connect to my tower and let's see i'm just going to go Xbo. he goes for his Lumberjack and okay the muskie is on the expo I can't really support it that was a bad eye spirit from me guys I realized the muskie was already locked on but I still played the eye spirit but okay I have my evo skellies and okay he has evo firecracker I'm just going to fireball that out and oh my god my evo skellies survived that's really huge for me and okay I chose like this and I'm just going to go Xbo opposite lane again to make him waste elixir on the opposite lane because I continuously need to uh, make him spend elixir because I don't want him to build up a massive push that would be quite difficult for me to handle and yeah just like that Xbo on the right locks on but I'm going to go Xbo on the left as well because yeah he definitely does not have a lot of elixir to deal with two Xbo's on two different lanes so my Xbo should lock on and yeah my Xbo locks on his giant skeleton was late yeah, as you guys can see i knew he was very low on elixir so i capitalized on that and i just have to fireball that out how oh, don't even need to my Xbo takes out the tower that was a pretty fun game i'll see if i can find some more match okay i found a match against prd16 Let's see what my guy is running. I'm just going to split skeletons in front of my king tower. And okay, he goes for the witch. I'm just going to pressure with my ice spirit on the opposite lane. And split my archers. 
let's see okay he goes for a giant wow giant and a witch i haven't seen this combination in a while like people are not really playing giant decks anymore because goblin giant is really a much better card to use in this archetype and ice spirit hopefully go in front of the archers okay no that was a big misplay of mine because if the ice spirit went ahead of the archers i could have easily gotten like 3 400 damage but it did not sadly so I'm just going to pre-place my Tesla in the middle for his bowler and let's see he goes for a musket here as well I'm just going to log everything out and I'm going to knight like this the musket here sadly gets a shot on my tower but otherwise it should be quite clean and I know he has his giant in cycle so I don't really want to go exbow right now because it yeah he, he goes for the giant and I might be in trouble I'm going to wait for wait and let him make a play. Just going to split archers in the back and yeah he goes giant in the back. That's a big mistake because I don't think so he has any other decent tanks in his deck. Yeah he goes for the tombstone and okay yeah he has a bowler. Fuck I completely forgot. Uh, okay let's see uh, Tesla to hopefully snipe the bowler. Okay doesn't even lock on but he plays the minor. And okay, I just have my Evo Skelly and that's why I did not really play Tesla on defense because I knew I had my Evo Skelly and they would be really clutch in just melting down the giant, which essentially what they did. He goes for the Evos, but I'm going to go Knight because I don't want to take, uh, I guess the Evos would do six or 700 damage, so I definitely don't want that as I'm barely in the damage lead with 30 HP. So let's see Tesla in the middle again and okay I'm going to fireball that musky that was a really bad musky from him I must say and my ice spirit is also going to connect to the tower and okay that was a really weird fireball I don't know why he thought he maybe he could hit my Tesla but he definitely couldn't but yeah he has cycled back to a giant and my ice spirit is not going to get any damage I'm just going to go ice spirit and knight for this left hand side because it might be quite scary and i'm honestly going to go exbo even though the mask is still alive and okay i've only got one shot thankfully and i'm just going to lock off all the skeletons and tesla to support my exbo and okay he goes for a very good fireball but honestly with my tesla up okay that was a really horrible exbo from me i really played an exbo into his giant but thankfully my tesla is alive and my ego skellies also are putting so much of work guys like you guys saw and he goes for a weird tombstone placement i will only be able to guess that that was a misplay and i think that should be game but let's see okay yeah he goes for his evis so that my expo is going to retarget but i honestly got all the damage i need and i honestly just need to fireball him out twice so that's one fireball and okay my knight come finishes off his tower and that's going to be a win i'll see you guys in the next one